I'm going to finish the story. Okay, you love Dad hanging out there, Mac Bush. I was I was in Japan at the time when I found out that my father had passed, and I was also wondering, like, Horace was wondering if he had given his life to the Lord, and we didn't know. But about a year after that, praise God, Elder Isaiah Hughes came to us and he says, you, you realize that your daddy got something he did? He says, no. He went to the hospital the day before he went into a coma. And he gave his life. And another thing that he did, praise God, because he was giving Horace all kind of, I can say it's all kind of hell. Amen. But after uh, he saw what we were doing and what have you, he told him, he says, I would rather see you guys doing what you're doing than anything else. So that was our affirmation right there, praise God, in your name. So uh, let's just thank God for salvation right here. Hallelujah. That's awesome. All right. Purpose and responsibilities of a senior elder. Senior elders are those who have met and exceeded the moral, mental, and spiritual qualifications of an elder. They stand in a more elevated position because of their spiritual growth, outstanding character, love of family, love of, of the fellow man, and love of God, and have consistently demonstrated love for born again church in the word and in deed through the spirit of humility and service. They have also given the call of God upon or received the call of God upon their lives and have been ratified by the church leadership and approved by the pastor. Senior elders must be pillars in the ministry, demonstrate insight, concern, and support for the welfare and the well-being of the entire church, and are able to assist in its governing. Senior elders serve as watchmen, not because they should, but because they are willing. Senior elders must be willing and ready to receive, uh, me, to serve sacrificially when needed in support of church activities and carry out undaunted and, and carry an undaunted reputation as men and women of God. Senior elders have earned the respect of the people because they demonstrate maturity and credibility. They are the pillars in the church. Your presence gives a sense of security and stability. It is, uh, it is only natural that young believers will gravitate to you and want to open their hearts for instruction. So for the following candidates for elevation, Senior elders, please stand. Demetrius Alexander. Pamela <laughs> Anderson. Gavin <laughs> Wilson. Ella Tina Kane. Jennifer Garrett. Sandra Rose. Brian Pocket. Uh, 
the first one to tell you that it's a collaborative work. And it takes uh, those who are committed to us and who pray with us and who are concerned for us. So I never doubt as to whether these are, they are praying for us. I never doubt if they have our backs and if they allow the vision that God has given us as a body of believers. I'm thinking y'all cry. I'll stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, it, it takes a team to do what we do. That's all I need to say. We move on. Senior elders, as a member of Born Again Church and members of the Pastoral Council, which is a spiritual governing body of Born Again Church, uh, through prayer, consecration, and seeding of the Holy Spirit, to assist the pastor in maintaining the proper spiritual climate of the church. It is their task to see that the pastorate operates in sound spiritual doctrine, discipline, accountability, vision, and direction. I have to put that in there because I go back sometimes and look at some of the sermons I preached back in 1978, 79, and that's how I believe that came out of my mouth. I just said what I thought to be true, and you always tell people, and you know, Pastor, let's look at this again. And see if that's what it's really saying. Uh, and you just have to have been humble enough to take a look and get a good understanding. All right. So for as much as you have been selected to serve in the capacity of our God through the leading of the Holy Spirit, do you wholeheartedly and with consistent cooperation of all the members of the church try by the will of God the Almighty to do your duty? Your response should be, I do. Do you promise to honor God and your church and your services, behavior, and your conduct? Will the pastoral uh, council members that are present, will you please come and stand uh, and place your hands on these individuals who have been elevated? I'm going to ask the congregation to extend their hands as well. and the commitment of these people and even others like them who surrender and submit themselves in intercessory prayer for Born Again Church and for its leadership and their desire to seek and represent you in a holy fashion, a way that uh, the world does not always identify with. It's not just about how many members that you have and how popular you are, but if you're standing or if you're right standing with the Father of God. We want to be known throughout the city, throughout the world, as a holy congregation of people. We don't have to be the best uh, singers. We don't have to have the biggest congregation. But we do have to represent in all that we say, all that we do. So I ask you, I thank you now for uh, enabling them and settling their hearts and their spirits and the years of support and the prayers of that they have rendered us here at Oregon Church. And I ask that you would extend uh, their uh, tenure. I ask that you would give them the, the desires of the hearts. I know they want to see things that we've ministered about vision and purpose and what Oregon Church is supposed to do and the development of this campus and uh, how you're preparing us to uh, service this community in a better way. So we stand in agreement with them as they stand in agreement with us and we're all in agreement with you. So anoint them even the more. Bless their hearts, their lives. Bless their children, their grandchildren. Bless everything that they set their hands to do in this call of you in the name of Jesus. And let them know this day, good Father, that you are pleased. And that Kitty and I are, are ecstatic. And we are grateful for that years of service and commit to your work. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Let everybody say amen. 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 Turn around, face the congregation, let them give you a round of applause. Okay, 
this uh, concludes our services uh, for today. And those of you who are ordained and licensed in some kind of way, if you could uh, make it up here uh, as we dismiss, if you would like to come and show your uh, uh, congratulations by shaking that hand, hugging them, or doing something, you please do that at this time. Father, we pray travel graces upon each and every one, those who travel near and far, and uh, just anoint them to do great, powerful things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.